What's up everyone? If you are new here, call me T and we are back with another video at almost 11 p.m. at night, but it's okay. If you, like a couple weeks ago, I asked Instagram if you guys wanted a nail tutorial I do my own nails now I do my own dip powder all that good stuff because your girl is trying to save her coins okay and a lot of people said yes if I find it I'll insert it here ish if I can find it and so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna do our nails this is what I have right now these have been in for like two weeks so like they're really grown out as you can see my nails are super super long um these are my nails now this one's a little short because it just has problems but this is what we're working with and i need to do my nails because i'm going out of town and i just like my nails done and it's really all about self-care and it makes me feel good whenever i do my nails so if you want to see how i do my own dip powder and like yes i do my own dip powder it's very relaxing then keep on watching okay this is a very awkward position to be filming in but I will try my best and I will zoom in on areas that I think you may not be able to see me so I just want to show you my setup really quick I have the three liquids that I need for the dip I have the two colors that I'll be using and a clear coat because I recently learned that a clear coat helps if you have longer nails I have gel thinner I have my nail polish remover for the old manicure. I have a few files back here. I have my dip removal kit, which I will link down below. I got it on Amazon. It's just these little clips that you can tuck in the cotton pads when you soak off your manicure. And I actually just had to run to CVS. I actually went to go get more nail filers because these are run down i've used them so much but they didn't have any but they had this which is a nail drill kit we're trying this for the first time today and it comes with different pieces so we shall see how this works as well and i will link it down below i will be using the revel nail brand it's just a brand that i found on instagram and i was intrigued with it and so far i really like it so let's get started so the first step is to strip away the top coat from each nail using a nail file so that I can speed up the removal process before applying the acetone. Before starting the removal process of my previous dip color, I'm taking a few cotton balls and splitting them in half just so they're big enough to cover each individual nail. And from there, I'm soaking each cotton ball with the acetone based nail polish remover, placing them tightly on each nail and then placing the clip on top so that it stays in place. I know some salons, or at least the nail shops I went to beforehand, also used aluminum foil for this process, but I didn't want to be wasteful and I also knew I was going to be doing this a lot, which is why I went ahead and got the kit. After each nail is secure with a clip, I go ahead and sit for about 45 minutes to an hour I would say to let the color soak off. Now my nails are long so it will take longer for them to soak. I don't prematurely remove the cotton just so I avoid any damage to my natural nail. I just let it soak off the way it's supposed to. Thank you. 
So before I start applying the dip, I go ahead and file my nails to remove any excess polish or roughness that may be on from the previous manicure. And here are my natural nails so you can see what I'm actually starting with. I know that didn't focus as well, but we're starting out with our first liquid, the Pro Base, which allows the dip to actually stick to the nail. I'm starting off with a clear coat on each nail before going in with color because I will be using a glitter on a few nails. I will be only filming one hand just for the sake of time and this is definitely the hand that turns out better more often than not because I'm using my dominant side to do it. After each layer, you're going to want to brush away the excess powder so you avoid getting it into your liquids or other colors. And now we're going to jump into the color. I'm using the color flannel for most of my nails, which is this dark green and Phoebe as accent nails, which is a cute silver glitter, you know, trying to get a little festive. Um, I'm doing the same exact thing, applying a thin layer of the pro base, dipping and then wiping away. I usually apply three layers of each color. I just find that it looks better than two coats on my nails and I keep repeating those three steps until I'm done. My camera shut off as I was showing the second liquid up close, but we're taking the activator and this basically bonds our nails to the dip powder and we're applying a coat onto each nail. Once that coat dries, I'm going to go ahead and buff the nails down to how I want them, clean up any mistakes I may have made, and I'll also use just a plain old file nail for this as well. Then we're going to add a final layer of the activator before moving on to the next step. Yeah. 
the last step is to just go ahead and add a finished gel on top. I'll apply the first coat, let it dry for a little, and then add the second coat to finish it off. Okay, I lied. The last step is to wash my hands with soap and water to get any leftover acetone or powder off. And no, the powder does not stain my skin. It won't stain your skin at all. It came off within the hour. And then I applied some cuticle oil slash lotion that I have to add moisture back onto my hands. Okay, so I am finished finally it's like 3 30 in the morning no lie y'all but this is how it looks right now i'll insert some more clips first hand went really let me let me just explain why it took so long this time it took me a good like three four hours to do my nails this time because i only filmed doing one hand so i wanted to make sure like the angles were right the lighting was decent blase blase and then I was really, really tired after that. So I ended up messing up the second hand like twice and redoing it. But we're done. We're here. My nails look good. They're fresh. They're holiday ready. They're ready for me to go out of town. I don't gotta worry about them when I leave. And I did it myself. You know, that feels really good. So this video was more so just an overview to show you guys a quick tutorial of how I do them, um, how quick it could be, how easy it could be. And I think my main goal was to show you that practice makes perfect. I started doing this in August and it's now December and I will personally say I've gotten a lot better because, because before it was looking like, oh girl, like you really got to practice. So I do my nails once every one to one and a half. Um, two weeks is the longest I've gone without doing my nails again just because I do like taking the time out of my week to just myself, my dog sleep, and I ain't bothering him, he ain't bothering me, and I can just do my own nails. It's, it's like a form of self-care. It's like if you do a face mask or you're gonna get a massage or if you're going to the nail salon, that's your self-care time. This is my like me time. So that is why I do it so often. Normally it doesn't take me as long to do it, but with filming and things like that, it adds time and pressure that whew, whew, whew. I have to make sure they came out like decent, you know? This video, like I said, is just an overview and I do want to come back, film another one because I didn't really like the nail kit that I was using. I want to find some new nail tools for the low low on Amazon. So once I order those, I'll come back and make another video. And I also want to ask Instagram, let people watch this video and see if there are any questions about it I may have not even thought about. And during that video coming, so hopefully this video, you know, gains traction and you know, you guys like it and watch it. But when that video drops, I do want to do a giveaway because I think it's fun and I've had a lot of people message me about what I've been doing with my nails. I did not expect it at all, but it's been happening. So I do want to do a starter kit giveaway. That's how I started doing my nails with this company. And I'm not going to buy the kit yet. I'm going to wait until the winner is picked after I come up with like the rules and things like that and the winner is picked. Then I want to, you know, talk to the winner, see what colors they may want, this, this, and that, and then, yeah. So I do want to host a giveaway, so be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, comment, comment down below any questions you may have about the whole process, why I do it, am I really saving money, comment anything you want, message me on Instagram all of it all of that so that way when it comes time for the second video and i can do a giveaway you know it'll be worth worth my while and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe for me guys i really do hope you enjoyed this video i can't wait for the next one i'm gonna do it earlier in the day <laughs> 
remember, I'm just out here trying to look good, feel good, you know, be good, you know, with my nails and whatnot, you know. You know how girls when they get their nails, they're like, oh. So let me tell you about my day, like, oh. <laughs> I need to go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, just, yeah, just subscribe, y'all. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video.